Hello everyone, this is a beer guy and I'm back with another unboxing video, uh, the third one to be exact in the PC gaming rig that I'm building series. And this time we have a slightly juicier part that we're going to be unboxing today. And if you can't tell from the video, let me go ahead and read it out to you. It's the uh, Asus ROG Maximus XI Formula Gaming Motherboard. So this is probably one of the higher end lines of uh, motherboards out there. I know there's been a little bit of uh, confusion and conflict about um, how good it is for overclocking. However, the primary reason I like this motherboard, it's for this right here, the formula name, uh, which means it's basically specialized for uh, water cooling. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop it open and take a look at it. Let me just get my hands on here and slide that open. Well, there we are. So uh, very nice casing. Um, it's got kind of like a nice presentation to it. Um, it says right there, Republic of Gamers, and welcome to the Republic. Thank you very much, Asus. I much appreciate that. Um, let's go and take off this uh, plastic right here. And in fact, actually, let's go ahead and turn this around so we get a better view. So here it is. This is actually the motherboard right here. So for those of you not familiar, this is kind of like the central piece of a computer that everything attaches to. Um, everything kind of runs through here and um, navigates through here. Um, I'll kind of do a quick walkthrough, I guess, real quick, just to kind of explain how things work. Um, so starting on the right here, we have the RAM slots. So if you remember from the first video, I had those um, G-Skill Trident um, RAM sticks. Those will basically install all right here, all four of them. Uh, right next to it, we have the CPU slot. So once I unlatch this, the CPU, which I haven't actually done a video on yet, that'll probably be next, will slot in right here. This is the VRM. Um, I'll cover that in a minute. I'll come back to it and um, explain why it's special on this motherboard versus others. Um, but then this right here is basically the uh, video card slots. So uh, what I'll do is actually, we're gonna do a slight modification to this. Uh, the case that I have comes with a riser stand. So what we're going to do is separate the video card from this motherboard and instead of installing it in here like this, it'll actually uh, be standing up. Uh, it'll make more sense when I actually show it to you. Um, anyway, so that's basically all the essential uh, components of this motherboard. Now, back to why it's called a formula. So uh, this one is actually um, designed for water cooling. So this VRM right here, this is basically a heat sink that um, cools uh, the, like the essential parts of the motherboard. You'll see that there's these two little knobs right here one right here and one right here. So what'll happen is uh, when I'm installing my tubes for water cooling, I'm actually going to um, run the circuit from the reservoir to the CPU, from the CPU to this VRM right here. It'll funnel liquid all through this channel right here and then pop it out of here and run it back to the reservoir. Um, so it's actually gonna be pretty cool. That's why I actually partially picked this uh, motherboard because it'll help kind of keep parts cool and minimize the need for fans in the case overall. So um, other than that, I mean, the looks and aesthetics of this motherboard are also pretty nice. Um, I don't know if you can see it from the video, but uh, the circuit board itself is all black. Very nice um, texture to it. And um, actually, there's also a lot of um, RGB LEDs on here as well, too. It's not noticeable right now, but once we power it up, it'll be much more obvious. But some of the places I'll show you is this central panel right here actually acts as just um, a small status screen. Usually when the computer first turns on, it'll kind of display like formula and then give you some jargon and then kind of display some stats. Similar right here. This is also an RGB um, LED lit status screen, so it'll provide useful computer statistics um, as the computer is running, less such as temperature and whatnot, so it'll let you know in case anything is going wrong. Um, and then this whole part right here actually all glows as well too. Uh, apologies if you see kind of like the scratches and bubbles. Unfortunately, they actually have like a little bit of a film. I'm not gonna remove it yet. I'll probably do that last right before the computer is ready to go. But yeah, uh, it'll actually look pristine once everything is done here. Uh, but anyway, all of this glows as well too and that's mostly just for aesthetics. Similarly, uh, we have a couple buttons over here. We have like the start and reset um, on the motherboard which is pretty nice along with an error code reader. That error code reader is just right there, and then this, so that's the start and reset. These all glow as well too, so it'll be um, it'll be a pretty nice um, pretty nice setup. 
The other thing I'm actually noticing, just as I'm showing it to you, is they do have some cool pinhead slots. You can see, like, for example, right there, if you can read it, um, it says water pump. Just, let me see if I can point to it. Ah, right there. Right where my fingertip is. Um, that's like a dedicated water pump connection. They also have chassis fan connections, a retry button. Um, that's actually all pretty neat. Um, I like the way all of the uh, plugs are laid out. Um, it's, they are in smart places so that it's easy to hide those wires afterwards. So that'll be a crucial component while I'm building. I'll probably be doing the wires over and over again until I can make sure that a majority of them are hidden and um, hidden away from view at the very least. Anyway, um, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little bit longer. I apologize. Just wanted to kind of go through the pieces of it and components for anybody who's unfamiliar. But um, so that's the motherboard right there. I'm going to go ahead and that's the case back there. So just to explain, I'm going to basically lift this just as it is and it'll install right where that big square hole is right there. So it'll just basically just lay flat right there and um, I'll start installing parts along it and hopefully I can give you updates as I'm building it through. Anyway, um, hope you guys all had um, an enjoyable time with this video, and stay tuned for the next few. Um, I'll probably be doing the CPU next, followed by the video card, and that should just about cover it. I think all the other parts I already have, so I don't need to do unboxings of them, but I will cover the build process as I go through it. Anyway, take care all. Thanks for watching. Bye now.